649 right now time for the morning rush. The convicted murderer accused of killing Muslim men in Albuquerque two years ago may be changing his plea. The attorney for Mohammed Syed has confirmed that a change of plea hearing will happen today. The exact details of the plea deal have not been released. That hearing is scheduled to begin this morning at 9. <clears throat> We're getting a look, excuse me, at a man, at the moment a man slammed into one car causing two others to collide. In May, police say 22-year-old Sean Ray hit a car near I-40 and 6th Street while trying to get away from police. <clears throat> the crash caused two cars to collide next to it. He's now pleading not guilty to aggravated fleeing and reckless driving. And Albu Albuquerque police are continuing to investigate a shooting in the foothills that left one person seriously injured. Albuquerque police responded to reports of a shooting near Montgomery and Tramway around 1130 yesterday morning. APD says that three people at the scene had gunshot wounds and they were taken to the hospital with one of them in critical condition. Ryan. Chilly this morning, but warmer this afternoon, mostly sunny for most of the region. Now there could be some showers and even rumbles of thunder in the mountains. Still some lingering rain showers in Carlsbad and Hobbs today. Temperatures still below normal in the Pecos River Valley, but more sunshine and higher temperatures are ahead. An Albuquerque City Councilor will soon be introducing a bill that would crack down on the owners of vacant buildings downtown. City Councilor Joaquin Baca says his bill would create a registry to help the city be more proactive on which vacant buildings need to be inspected. The bill will be introduced to City Council tomorrow. Well, that City Council proposal comes as Albuquerque Fire Rescue is investigating a fire at an abandoned building in the International District. The department says that crews were sent to a vacant commercial building on Central near San Pedro just after 2 yesterday afternoon. Now, officials say that no injuries were reported. Ryan. And chances of rain lower for the next couple of days, including Carlsbad and Hobbs. You guys dealt with flooding yesterday. Today, still some showers, but flooding a much less likely chance. And more sunshine, higher temperatures for much of the region for today and tomorrow. Thursday will be the day where we have the higher chances of rain for the Rio Grande Valley. Goodwill has opened their newest location in a place that you would never expect. That's at Canutillo High School in El Paso. Nine students currently work at the store as part of a program called Employee Development Service. That program offers students in the special education program job skills and real world experience ahead of graduation. A Missouri woman may have stumbled upon a gold mine after finding a famous collection of photos of New Mexico's landscape. Kelly Robinson says she purchased the photos from a woman who told her they could be worth works by Ansel Adams. Robinson got the photos authenticated. Estimates put the collections worth in the six figures range. Ryan. And taking a look at traffic right now, no major accidents or slowdowns on the roadways. And taking a live look right now at Tracker that's heading south on I-25 near Lead and Cole. Some volume on the roadways again, some minor delays, but generally good traffic flow for your morning commute. What started as one TikTok video of a unique green dessert stuffed chocolate bar has become a global sensation. The candy is made with Turkish pistachio cream. Asma Khatab, the founder and owner of Big Dash, offers the Middle Eastern treat in North Texas. The Middle Eastern ice cream and pastry shop is making 700 to 800 of the bars daily. Now it's time for the five facts. At number five this morning, a major quarter horse race was a success as Albuquerque played host for the first time. The All-American Futurity is normally held at the Ruidoso Downs, but fires and flooding over the summer brought the race to the Duke City this year. Now when it's held at the Ruidoso Downs, the race usually brings in 25,000 people for the Labor Day weekend. At number four this morning, an Albuquerque City Councilor will soon be introducing a bill that would crack down on the owners of vacant buildings downtown. Well, there are already codes in place that fine building owners who have dilapidated buildings. City Councilor Joaquin Baca says his bill would create a registry to help the city be more proactive on which vacant buildings need to be inspected. Baca says he plans to have city funding in place for property owners ready to update their buildings. And at number three, below normal temperatures this morning, but we're going to be a little bit warmer today for most areas. Temperatures close to normal, very sunny for most. Now, some showers are possible in the northern mountains, lingering showers in southeast New Mexico, but flooding a less likely chance today. Even more sunshine and warmer air for tomorrow. And number two, we're getting a look at the moment a man slammed into one car, causing two others to collide. In May, police say 22-year-old Sean Ray hit a car near I-40 and 6th Street while trying to get away from them. The crash caused two other cars to collide next to it. Ray was arrested in July, two months after the crash, but was later released from custody. He's pleading not guilty to aggravated fleeing and reckless driving. 
And at number one happening today, the convicted murderer accused of killing Muslim men in Albuquerque two years ago may be changing his plea. The attorney for Mohammed Syed has confirmed that a change of plea hearing will happen today. Now, in March, Syed was convicted for the murder of 41-year-old Aftab Hussein in July of 2022. In that case, he was sentenced to life in prison. Syed is also charged with the murder of Naeem Hussein and Afzal Hussein. A trial in, the trial in that case rather was set to begin this week. The exact details of a plea deal have not been released. The hearing is scheduled to begin this morning at 9.